eye. Do you know that there is a shark with such a long tail? Origami Master Boy Lorenzo talks about it and folds the shape of this shark with origami. At the end, he gives a message about what we can do to preserve a marine life. So watch the video till the end and try folding the shark. We will be making an origami shark. When we finish, it'll look like this. There are 440 types of sharks. My favorite shark is the, sh is the thresher shark. It has a long tail. It uses it like a whip to attack its prey and eat it. It also uses, it, it also uses its tail to, to slice its prey in half. Today we will be making a thresher shark. Once you finish, it should look like this. First you need to make two diagonal folds. Do the same thing on the other side. Once you do that, you need to make two kite folds. Once you do that, you can open it up and do the same thing on the other side. Once you do that, you can open it up and it should look like this. Now to do the next step, you need to take these two parts and hold them like this. And then these two folds will guide you. And once you finish, you need to do the same thing on the other side. Once you do that, you need to take the top part and put it to the bottom where the fins are. Once you do that, it should look like this. And now, you should see these two creases. They, if, let's say you make a line there that is where this part should be. Once you do that, you can fold it in half and open these two parts up. This will be the fin.
and then you can fold it up, take the fins, and fold it parallel to these. You can do the same thing on the other side. And you can take the top part and put it back down again. And then you can turn it over, take this part, but don't put it right there. You need to make a better room so it's not connected, but there's still a little bit of space to do. And do the same thing on the other side. Once you do that, it's basically like making a paper airplane. You need to take the top part, fold it down, and do the same thing on the other side. And now to do the mouth, and now to make the mouth, you need to, get, you need to take this part, fold it up, but not like this, inside, you need to put it outside. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you can close it back up. That will be the mouth. And now to make the dorsal fin, you need to take this part, fold it up, take these two parts down, and crease it. Once you do that, it should look like this. And now to make the tail, you need to take this part and fold it down like this. Now you can open it back up again. Now you can open it again and crease it like this. Once you do that, it should look like this. And now to make the final part, you need to fold this part up. And then open it back up and do the same thing you did with the other part of the tail. Once you finish, it should look like this. And now to make the eyes, you need to take your th nail and push it pretty hard to make an eye. And do the same thing on the other side. Now, I like to take a, mar a marker and make an eye. And to make the, the gills, you need to make three C's on each side. Once you finish, it should look like this. Remember to protect our oceans. One thing you can do is to reduce the use of plastic. This will help us preserve marine life and my favorite shark, the thresher shark. Wow!
Isn't it amazing how Lorenzo folded a treasure shark? This YouTube folded origami for all kids has more videos, including three videos of Lorenzo. Subscribe and watch new videos in the future too. Goodbye!